Common Math Functions Tier List Linear Function Very useful function and the first type of function you learn in school. If your prof gives you a question about solving linear equations past ninth grade, you must be in business. That being said, for the rest of society, linear equations allow us to approximate solutions in a fraction of the time. For linear functions, being the basis for all maths, as well as being an easy and useful function, it's got to go to the S tier. Quadratic. The second function I learned in school, and also a very useful function, but opened our world to the pain of factoring. The pain of sitting factoring five pages of homework questions, such as x squared plus 4x minus 221, without a calculator instead of going outside makes you contemplate if you should work at McDonald's. Anyways, quadratics are very important in physics and honestly are pretty easy functions to work with, so I will put it in A tier. Cubic. A pretty irrelevant function and is just a pain to factor. Also, this is what the cubic formula looks like. D-tier. Polynomial. These functions are pretty versatile and can be used to model and approximate. They are pretty okay to work with, and if you see a polynomial when differentiating or integrating, you are blessed. A tier. Reciprocal. Asymptotes, 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 the boring cousin to rational functions that only have asymptotes for discontinuities, D tier. Rational. Please make the rational decision to ignore these functions when possible. <laughs> Other than looking cool, these functions are the bane of every engineering student's existence in calculus. You may think, ha, huh, just use quotient rule. Just wait to integrate. My prof said the final exam would be one question, and our class cheered, but here was the question. D tier. Piecewise. Dumb type of function used to teach limits. F tier. Exponential. E to the X is the goat of all functions. Want to differentiate E to the X? You get E to the X. Want to integrate E to the X? Guess what you get? E to the X. S tier. Logarithmic. Used in cool things like the Richter scale, pH scale, and sound intensity. Integrating always requires integration by parts or U sub. Rounding using logarithms. The amount of times I rounded in chemistry and ended up getting an acid with a pH 5 times greater. Wait, maybe I am just stupid. Also, when converting to Kelvin, don't forget the 15 degrees. All in all, logarithms are pretty cool. B tier. Square root. First type of function with a restricted domain. Other than having to work with imaginary numbers when rearranging for physics classes, square roots are pretty chill. B tier. Nth root. Solving for x without a calculator is pure agony. D tier. Absolute value. Having to split the function into multiple intervals is annoying, and you have to find where the function isn't differentiable. Looks cool, but C-tier. Trigonometric. Trig integrals. Trig integrals. Trig integrals. Don't forget the derivative of SEC squared x and the integral of tan x. Want to integrate cos to the sixth x. Half angle identities. Half angle identities. Half angle identities. When first learning trig, you may think it's just soca, toa, and triangles, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. I am just kidding. Trig functions are cool and a big part of physics, too. Just have fun finding limits to infinity and using squeeze theorem. A tier. This is my functions tier list. It is objectively correct. Have a good day.